I was at Marquette before this, and then Marquette didn't like me, and I didn't like the big school. There was too many people, and I was failing everything miserably. So I had a bunch of people go here from my friends, so I was like, oh, I'll go here. So I decided to come here. Yeah, the stereotyping just got old. I mean, you can only deal with that so much. Go to school every day, get stereotyped into one group, and you don't really associate with that group, but because of what you might like to listen to or what you do or who you hang out with, you just get stereotyped. So I decided to go to Tri High because I heard about the arts program and just that the staff's a lot nicer and there's a lot less kids, so there's more one-on-one. -on -one. It's given me the possibility to get good grades. <laughs> That's what I need. Um, measure mark, measure mark, lay across. He does a really good job because it's, I don't know, I got geometry and I got, I mean, there's kids in there that he, you know, I, I didn't think that they were smart enough to do what they're doing and he's got them learning it and they're doing really good. You can just kid around with the teachers and they know you're kidding around. They don't send you to the office. You know, you can make a, a little gesture and they'll make a little gesture back to you. They, they're, they're like a parent almost teaching you, you yeah. know, like. I really am glad that I started getting involved more as far as the governing board and making decisions for school. I kind of regret not doing it in years past, but I'm glad now that I got involved. They get a sense of empowerment that they're being heard or listened to. Where they were maybe at a traditional school because assistant so-and-so or this teacher has to deal with so many students in a day. I can't listen to your, I, you know, I can't listen to your complaint right now. Uh, a founding philosophy that we have here is that if we give respect, we will get respect back. Try high isn't a loser school. <laughs> Some of the people think, oh, that's where the losers go. It's not true. We have a variety of students, and our students are very talented, and they're, they're bright. It's just a different way of learning. You know, they, some of them just can't sit there in, in a class for that long and just listen to a lecture, or some of them can't read it out of a book and understand it. They, they need more in-depth one-on-one sometimes, which they can get here. They need a smaller group to work with. And um, a lot of our students are doing really well. So you're hurt, but you've got another concern. You've got this little munchkin, right? You've got to look at, and you think about the relationship you have with your parents. What kind of a relationship do you want your child to have with their father? Does anybody remember the rule that we had in the fall? How we, what we had before we had this rule? Pick one, which one do you want us to remember? <laughs> well, it was the last one, you know, the last rule we had before we banned Walkmans. That you could listen to them with. Art in art class. That was the only class you could listen to them in, is art class. And the next thing you know, and then they were in this class, in that class, in this class, in this class. Now, do you know why we have this rule now? 
Because people weren't taking their headphones off and it was being distracted. We have the same people every day, each individual, just like he said. It's the same people doing it repeatedly. Well. Really good principal. I get along with her. She's almost like a mom because I can tell her anything and she's helping me out with a lot of stuff because I've been having a lot of problems at home. She's really good at helping kids out and I don't know. I like her a lot. She's the nicest principal I've ever had because I can never talk to any other principal like that and that's the first girl principal I've ever had. So it's, that's why it's probably easier for me to talk to her. Uh, the Art and Design Center will open in downtown Ishpeming and it will be run by our art teacher who will be the director of the facility and it's funded by the Kellogg Foundation and the Department of Ed and it will be a place that is owned and operated by students and um, they will uh, create prototypes that may be marketable and they can also take orders, they can do community service through the center and they will also have a storefront gallery and coffee shop and they um, for everything that they sell, they will uh, have a 30% uh, savings account set up. I, I think one of the really exciting aspects of the school is the fact that it is uh, positioning itself to really think more about um, the entrepreneurial aspects of the business community and the fact that uh, when students leave here, they will be part of that community. And they really need to understand um, how they're going to be able to support themselves. And there are some very creative students here who probably will not want to uh, work for someone. They really are going to take a leadership role and start their own businesses. All right. Students receive a positive for whenever they do something that is particularly outstanding above and beyond the call of duty, something nice for someone. Um, and then they also may receive a negative if they do something that is a behavior that is not appropriate, like using foul language. And two positives can cancel one negative. And when we get to the end of the quarter, the governing board students take 
um, all of the positives and balance them all out and for the positives that are left they trade them in for uh, money. One For one positive you get one merry money dollar bill. They had put my picture in the middle of it and um, thus the term came about as merry money. They can bid on things in an auction of things that are donated by various businesses. If I wouldn't have swore so much, I would have more. Like twice as much. Sold! <laughs> 22! There you go, man. <laughs> I, think, I think of it as everybody here, if not friends, at least acquaintances. It's like a family almost. I mean, that's a weird way to put it, but it, it seems that way.